Oh, they died. <laughs> <laughs> what? We didn't <laughs> feed them. <laughs> Oh man, that was unfortunate. What is up guys, me like here. Today we are back in action for another ARC update and I'm joined by that German guy. What's up man? What's going on? Uh, so this update is the one year anniversary of ARC and they've added several new dinosaurs, a bunch of changes to a bunch of different things and uh, we're going to try to uh, cover all of that stuff, man. Yep. Um, I guess the first thing we probably want to look at is probably the main creature here, the Diplodocus. This guy is a smaller sauropod. Yep. He's um, he's pretty cool. He has the the big uh, I guess what what would you call that the saddle? I guess it's a transport saddle. Yeah, the bus saddle, taxi saddle. I think yeah. they're calling it. Yeah, the bus saddle, uh, which is pretty cool. Let's go. I'm gonna actually get in one of these. So there's like five seats on the left, five seats on the right, and uh, yeah. it, lo it looks pretty cool. And they they enabled a new feature. It's uh, for public transport. You can actually allow people who are not in your tribe to ride this. Yeah, I saw that. It says uh, it also works for the Gallimimus saddle as well. So, oh, that's and cool. All, and all uh, multi saddles going forward. Yeah, I see enable public seating. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, and this guy actually isn't very fast, but can run. Oh, dude, he I I mean he gets uh, he gets a quite a bit of movement speed. It's easy to make yeah. him pretty fast. Uh, also, I don't know if this is a bug, but I checked him out earlier, and he, you couldn't actually in, uh, increase melee damage at all. They don't do damage. Oh, they they don't do da any damage at all? No. Well, I mean, they have a base damage of 125, so... They, they do zero damage to anything. No one knows <laughs> if it's a bug or not. They won't They won't say. I get it has to be a bug. I mean, there's... there's. I mean, I understand that... All like, it does is not... It has a crazy knockback. Like, yeah. Like, crazy knockback. Um, but this is kind of cool. I mean, you could. The thing is, is, they gain a lot of health, right? So you could probably get a bunch of people on there and just have them, like, shoot things off the side of it or something. Yeah, I think that's the point. Yeah. Uh, that and it's fast. I mean, that's really fast for a sauropod. Do you think they're going to do any sort of uh, platform saddle for this guy? Probably not, no. Yeah? They, uh, they are actually leaning far away from platform saddles, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, the Diplodocus, it, it likes the Lystrosaurus uh, kibble. Oh, okay. There is a problem with Listro Kibble right now. They fu uh, they messed up the uh, the recipe for it. So instead of using mayo berries, you have to use Tinto until they fix it. Otherwise, you can't make the kibble. You're so beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, these birthday suits are funny. Um, I think the, the, the Diplodocus is pretty cool. It's kind of cool having another sauropod, and then we're getting the, the Titanosaurus here pretty soon. Yeah, also, it's very strange in the fact that it can be a uh, passive tame, or you can knock it out. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I recommend knocking it out. It's a giant pain in the ass. Yeah. It, it will launch you in the air, and <laughs> if you're close to a cliff, you'll just fall off the cliff and die. Um, but yeah, you're better off knocking it out. It does have an enormous amount of toper, so you're yeah. going to be at it for a while. But it's just much, much easier, honestly. Um, I guess we could show all the birthday stuff here. Yeah, so there's a birthday suit. They brought back the, uh, the hat, the party hat for New Year's. Yeah, and we have the little party suit pants thing. They just, <laughs> they make you naked, but then they censor all of it, and they just give you a little party hat, so, uh, it's pretty funny. Oh. Oh, happy ARC anniversary! Thank you, uh, so much to all survivors for making ARC's first year such a success. We love you all. Your studio wildcard. Nice. And then I think eating it gives you... <laughs> you just freaking just straight up destroyed it. Yeah, it gives you a skin if you eat it. Oh, okay. Nice. And the way you make it is in Campfire. It costs uh, one beer, one birthday cake, and 25 of any dinosaur egg. Okay. I see you can also summon the uh, Dota Rex. I'm assuming it's instant With a hundred cakes, so that's a ridiculous amount of eggs. No one's going to oh, be able to. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, so you get this, like, awesome birthday, like, boost as well. Yeah. Uh, the Dota Rex, too, if it's based off previous events, you only have it for, like, 15 minutes or something. Something like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the same. Uh, so. Uh, we did get one new item. Uh, you can actually track your DPS on this guy. Oh, that's actually kind of. That, that'd be good uh, for testing damage against uh, Syndit and stuff. Like for yep. ascendant rifles, I wonder if you can attack it with a dinosaur if it tracks that. Yes, it does. Uh, let's let's see if this actually does zero damage. I, I, I if I could hit it, I don't think I could hit it. 
You're hitting it. Am I hitting it? Okay. Yeah, you're hitting it. It does nothing. Uh, that's funny. What about the the Giga over here? Uh, oh, tw 12. 13,000 damage, dude. Yeah. Wow. That DPS. Oh, it actually shows the DPS. Yeah. Dude, dude, this has to. You know, this is making fun of. Um. um Trendy. Yeah, this is making fun of dungeon defenders. <laughs> yeah, it even almost looks like the guy. Um, oh. I can no longer move. Uh, yeah, it just looks like you're dancing for me. I don't know why. Oh, am I? Yeah, you're dancing. You're doing some kind of dance. You're, oh. You're... <laughs> why? Um, why are you dancing? Uh. I'm I'm gonna try to fly so, away out of this. So, sorry, we're I can't fly. We're having technical issues. But yeah, the other new thing here is leeches. Yes. Uh, they they are absolute like literal aids. Yeah, they they're probably everywhere in the swamp. They probably attach to you and just kill you and murder your face. No, they give you aids. Uh, sorry, <coughs> swamp fever. <laughs> it's called swamp fever. They they, um, they, they literally give you aids. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they give you swamp fever, which yeah. me coming up to you, you now have swamp fever. Okay. Me riding this giga, it now has swamp f fever. How it's you... standing next to the Diplodocus, they all have swamp how fever. Do you, how do you get rid of swamp fever? Uh, well, you die, and then you come back to life and still have swamp fever. Okay. After, you, after it's killed you, you still have it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's great. Uh, making a new character... Or making the uh, this thing right here. Okay, lesser lesser antidote. Antidote. Okay. You need twenty leech blood, which about a hundred or so leeches drop one blood. Okay. Uh, in vanilla, at least. And then you need forty rare mushrooms, forty rare flowers, and twenty woolly rhino horns to make one of those. <laughs> twenty rhino. <laughs> okay. That sounds that sounds pretty fair so far. I'm liking where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the swamp, the swamp age is wonderful. Everyone yeah. hates it. Uh, everyone's saying the game is broken. I can, kind can, of agree. Can, can it kill creatures? Like, does it, can it just straight up kill your creatures? No, I think they just carry it. Oh, okay, so they're just they just ca it, they just it, carry it just the... kills you and your, your tribe over and over and over okay, and over. So they just carry the zombie and virus. And if you get one cure, it's pointless because in the time you'd get another cure, you would already have it again. So you, if you have a tribe of 20 people, you're going to have to make one of those for each of those people, plus every dinosaur you own. And then you, you're going to have to use it all at the exact same time. So it's we now have an alpha of the sea for vanilla. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It makes the seas a little bit more dangerous. He looks he looks evil, man. Yeah. He looks very evil. Of course, you're not going to be able to tame it normally. but um, no, no, we force tamed it so it would stick around and we could show it off. Yeah. Um, but alongside with this, alpha creatures now only give 45% of the original XP they did. So okay. not only do you have to lose about 70 dinosaurs and half your tribe die, but you also get uh, almost 50% less XP from them. So yay, even less reason to kill them in vanilla. Um, I guess one good change that they've done is they've done, uh, they've said you can change follow distance, which is something we've needed for a very long time now. Yeah, this should have been the game a long time ago. Yeah, we got medium, low, and high. Uh, which is awesome. I'm 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 very excited about dinosaurs not it being inside of other p dinosaurs' butts. Well, I thought we could show the fall distance here, so I yeah. I don't know. I sent him to medium, then you did. There something. we go. So uh, this is yep. Yeah, that's that's where he stops right there. That's on highest right there. That's not bad. Yeah, put him on put him on medium, and then we'll uh, see like where where he stops at. Uh, it was it wasn't too bad except for flyers. And then if you had like a really big, yeah, like guy, spinos like this and guy. stuff would. Okay, so this is the so dis... low is pretty much vanilla. I'm in your butt. Yeah, um, and then let's see what medium is. No, wait, that's it's on lowest right now. This is lowest right here. Oh, okay. So, so low. Oh, so there's no medium. There's low, lowest, and high. I I guess. Let me see. And then now it's oh, on huh. medium. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's actually a good range of options there. Medium's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. But yeah, with the tribe changes, um, basically, if you go ahead and open it up in the tribe manager, there's just a lot more detail here. Okay. Uh, you can actually, uh, I believe what they did is... Make me an admin, because I feel... For, for limited non-admin invites, 
uh, promotions and demotions per group, and you can prevent dinosaur and claiming. Uh, there's a checkbox, and as well as there's a new per rank like option. So basically, all, all the stuff was available before. You can also now let each rank have its own like version of that. For for people with big uh, groups, and you're not sure you want to trust all the people, or you don't trust everyone, that'll be really good. Uh, especially if you have some idiot join your tribe just to unclaim all your dinosaurs and run away laughing. So uh, that 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 was a very much important fix there, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Um, I um, guess I guess the last thing, uh, unless I'm missing something, is the arena, right? Well, and the babies. The arena and the uh, changes, yeah, breeding phase two. Uh, I guess. Do you want to get some babies together and we'll see how that works? Okay, guys, we're back. So we have two little baby dodos here. Uh, he's going to uh, imprint on one. I will imprint on the other. Uh, we were lucky and had twins. Yeah. Nice. So I guess I'll tell them to stop, disable wondering. Yeah. So let's see. Once care. Oh, it wants care in three hours. Okay. Um, yeah, and it will want care from a specific person from that point on. Yeah, once you... Want, and if you keep giving them that care, they'll be... Um, They'll be, like, imprinted on you, and you'll get, like, the mate-boosted bonus kind of similar thing, but it's, like, a friendship bonus. Okay. and it, with, a... with that dinosaur forever. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's between one person and that dino. Oh, they died! <laughs> <laughs> what? We didn't feed them! <laughs> oh, man. That was unfortunate. <laughs> All right, well, let's do better at the bears, then. Okay, I don't know how long. The bear's going to take freaking forever, though. Okay, guys, we're back. So we finally uh, we decided to get a little baby bear here. Uh, he, as, as you can see, it actually shows in their little menu. It says imprinting 0% raised by meaty lock. Yeah. And it says sample number. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but um, do you know what sample number is? That's preparation for breeding phase oh, three, which genetics. have like genetics yeah. and like mutations yeah. and such, I believe. Yeah. Either uh, that or they didn't give us any detail to what that means. Um, so, yeah, it wants care in three hours. So I'm assuming as soon as you uh, it wants care, it, the imprinting will actually go up. Yes. Um, which is pretty. I wonder, I'm, I wonder what happens if someone else tries to play with it. I guess just no one else can. Um, like if it can be tribe raised, it might be able to. Yeah, I think then it doesn't get the bonus. I think that's the only thing. Oh, so I think anyone, I think anyone can play with it, but won't get the bonus with that one specific person. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of cool. I, it, it's, it's so hard because they don't give any details. They're just like, you can now rub babies. And it's like, <laughs> you uh, can rub, you can rub ba babies. Yeah, um. <laughs> yeah. You can pet them and give them tickles. It's yeah. like, okay, what, what what's that? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you see it? It got angry. Oh, did what I did actually? It? I actually heard it. Oh no! <laughs> Why'd you hit it? I, I, my controls are different. Con my controls oh, normally yeah, crouch for me. That's a lovely thing they gave us with this. They reset everyone's <laughs> key bindings. So, I, so yeah, you're you're gonna slowly take care of it. Uh, here in three hours, you'll slowly imprint on it. It'll get an awesome bonus. Um, it's going to be pretty sweet. I kind of like this, except for the fact that it takes like 24 hours to raise a baby, like in yeah. total. So, um, yeah. It, uh, yeah. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that's still kind of too well, long. That's why there's always modded. Yeah, that's true. I, as well. I've always strongly believed that the reason this game does so well is because they gave us the options to change stuff ourselves. Yeah. Because uh, the, even okay. with vanilla, you can up the rage without any mods. Look and that's what him. makes the game stand out, you know? Look at him. He's so small and adorable. Dude, this guy is so adorable. Look at him. He's just like a little baby. Oh, just so dude. you know, I'd punch him right now if I could, but my character's glitched. He's like, he's like playing. Did I just... Um, He's like, he was like, look at him. He's like scratching his toes or something. Anyways, do you want to check out the... the, dra the Dragon? Arena? Yeah. yeah. Arena? All right, should I... Let's do it. <laughs> Does that actually hurt it? I don't think so. Yo, yeah, it is. It is hurting it. Okay. Uh, there should be like a negative imprinting value. Once it get it, you get it so far negative, it just tries to kill you. Like when it waits until it grows up and then it just murders you. Let's do this. Hopefully it works this time. Hopefully the gear's tail isn't throwing it off. <laughs> oh, that would be really annoying if it did. Yeah. Nope. We're going somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. This is cool. 
Arena time remaining, 25 minutes. Nice. Dude, look at this place. Um, I wonder if this lava hurts you? Is I'm guessing yes. Uh, so they actually did, it looks like, lava actually looks like, oh my god, what was that? Something shooting, there's like meteorites falling or something. Oh! Oh! Uh, did that hurt you? Uh, oh. No. That scared okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're being attacked by pterodons! Oh wait, I don't think the dragon actually hurts you. Or I mean the, the lava. Not the, the dragon hurts you. There's so many pterodons attacking me. And dimorphs. Dimorphs? Oh my god, it's the dragon shooting the the fireballs, by the way. Where is he? He's oh, up okay. there, he's shooting the fireballs, man. Oh wait, no, he's landing, he's landing. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, time to go down, bro. Time to go back to wherever you belong. Okay, he's hurting quite a bit, actually. You know, we didn't fu <laughs> we didn't we didn't fully prepare for this. My Rex is already dead. <laughs> oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Oh no. Well, do you want to go ahead and call it here? Yep. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you need like tribes for. Or oh yeah. And also, you need to be prepared. So we just kind of came in here randomly with two Rexes. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the update video, make sure to smash the like button. We'd really appreciate it. Check out both our channels, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys next time. The lava does hurt. The lava does hurt. Wow.